but I always thought that like your based on how you live your life, we yeah. don't like you don't do anything. I don't. Hold on, hold on. But I'm gonna tell you why I think you don't. Cause I don't think you would want to answer shit. It's and pointless to. It's pointless to answer, bro. Bro. I've been no, selling no, records, no, right? No, and it's not about no, that either. But I'm just talking about I've been. Hold on. And by, by the way, by the way, I've been selling records without anyone knowing anything, no, anything no, about me. I know. By the way, and, and, and also, also, just, just let you know and make you like. I don't, I don't, this really was just a vlog of me. So, so this, this is not this is not an interview, really. And, and by the way, it, it, it's not it, because in reality, one day I I would want to sit down with you. On, yeah, we can do that. On some real shit. But you know what I mean? I you, but I want you to be comfortable. I'm fine. I knew you my whole career, technically. I know, of course, of course. Technically, no. technicality. Like, I knew you my whole career. No, so, of course. You, you know what I mean? They went lie. up. I know him from goddamn the war on Chirac. That's what I knew you from. Like, Why I, not? I don't do that. <laughs> Yo, Uzi. I swear to God. I, you probably did, but I was... It's, your boy, it's your boy DJ. Oh, Academy. that's so like, I, well, that's Yo, like, Uzi, that's, but I was covering you doing no, dumb no, shit. No, 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 before... No. Media was so I remember. I know, but I remember, like you understand, yeah, bro. Like, I, I, know, I, know, that. I like, know, I know, I know. You really, you really made it easier for me to understand a different city. I'm from Philly, at the end. No, no, you're right. You're right. You made that shit super easy for the world to understand. It was. It actually was like as much hate as, as much. Listen, this is some real shit. As much hate as you got for that, you probably got fifty percent more on top of the hundred love on that because you gotta understand. You literally broke down some shit that you had to figure out on your own. Now you're right. In a language that we all can understand, no matter if you was black, white, anything. You're right. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. You really made it like that was you right. was ahead of your time with that. That was crazy. Hey, last thing I just want to say. That was the young nigga news. <laughs> Yo, last thing I want to say. One time, I promise you, mm -hmm. me and Uzi. <laughs> I don't even know why it was. We got into it back and forth. When I was so hurt in the DMs. No, we were going, it was like in the public. I was hurt. What man. happened? Tell me, remind me. I'm a, uh, I am don't lie about shit. It was probably with someone with, like, I remember. Yo, when was I beefing with academics? No, it was someone with Sheezy, like, like, Lake was definitely involved. But, I don't know, what I might have reported. You remember that, Rock? When I was beefing with academics? Me? Nah, it wasn't like, it wasn't like beef, beef, but it's like. What I had said to you? Oh, I think I do remember. Ooh, I do remember. You do? I kind of do. I think I had. I think I had um, wrote on your post on your on your on your on your page. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And and I ain't gonna mm -hmm. lie to you, that shit hurt me. That that you shit hurt my heart because I'm like, yo, damn. How am I gonna deal with a nigga who like I I genuinely love and I love his music so much, but also I gotta do like my job and my thing. I'm sorry about that. I was a little. No, 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 no. You're gonna apologize because. Sorry about that. Hey, let me tell you, let me tell you why you don't gotta apologize. Because I'm at the point now to to realize I've tweaked out a bunch, and I, that's why I'm glad me and you can have conversations. Cause me and you have co had conversations about your act, this that blah blah. Mm -hmm. Check, cool, whatever. But early on, when nobody, everybody think their their, their voice ain't being heard, mm -hmm. nigga, I tweaked out a bunch of stuff. So you you never gotta apologize. You know what I mean, nigga? We live life, nigga. We sitting here and and. and Nigga, I'm though, I got nigga, it. yo, 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 I told these motherfuckers coming over here, I said, yo, when I saw this nigga Uzi perform, he was at Terminal 5. Yeah, I remember promise that? you, nigga, I promise you could do the garden. You know you can do the garden. I'm still doing the same shit, too. Not to listen, I'm still, today, I performed, like, remember that, remember I, that day when you was there? I performed a song that never came out. Yeah. No, I'm still 1600. And I still remember that. Nigga, I know. I did the same shit today. I performed a motherfucking song that I made last night. Hold on. But you're, you're the biggest now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, nigga, you wouldn't do Terminal 5 again. <laughs> I'm so nasty. I will do Terminal 5 again. But you know what's crazy? Nah, you would have to do Terminal 5 three weeks in a row. And that's here. fire. But listen, a Terminal 5 show still would be turned way more than a big ass show. And I, and I, and I miss those days. That's what's crazy because I, I be thinking about shit. Like, don't get me wrong. Shows be lit, I be turnt and all that, like it is what it is. But like, I miss those little shows. Those little shows was like personal and like crazy. 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 Yo, what make you happy these days? What makes me happy? Yeah. The most thing that probably make me happy in real life though, probably like. Not even on no funny shit, or not even on no weird shit, like being able to like 
being able to just do whatever, like, not do whatever I want, but being able to, like, have consistency in anything that I do. And not just consistency in music. Like, that's, like, the easiest. Like, and I don't even have consistency in music. But, like, yo, we got we, we, we to gotta work on that. We, we got to work on that. We'll again, get that. Cause I got, but, yo, Uzi, five years You know what make me happy? You know what make me happy? Motherfuckers be over here crying about me making music. Man, I just want to go to Top Golf, dog, and be drunk. At Top Golf. I just want to go. That's what I'm saying. I just want to go to Top Golf. But, Booby, where we went yes, where we went the other day? Top Golf. Went to Top Golf. Then when we went to Top Golf, had Top Golf. Bowling. Bowling. Like, I just want to have fun. Like, that's what I'm saying. This, bro, come Dang, on. I don't bro. like what you said because, like, yo, yo, there be a whole world. Motherfuckers think it's a whole they're, world. They're harassing you for music, nigga. Nah, them same niggas harassing me in music think I'm sleeping in the motherfucking. A fucking coffin every night. They do they give me they do things. I got a big ass beard. <laughs> Rick Owens beard. Like you know what I'm saying? Damn, it's, it's technically it's a coffin. <laughs> no, technically it's a coffin. It's an expensive Uzi, coffin. Uh, hundred hundred thousand over. And when you say over, super over coffin, but shit, like motherfuckers think like I don't know what the hell they think about me, man. They think about me so much I can't even yo, imagine or fathom to think about Uzi. them. No, yo, I told this nigga, I'm like Yo, so this nigga shows up to, yo, I ain't even gonna lie to you, mm -hmm. it's my first time they put me on a festival. They say, yo, come do it. Why the fuck, yo, he was at Roots Picnic. <laughs> yo, they have me at Roots <laughs> Picnic. Yo, I, I found a video. Yo, I showed up. This, this, I don't know if you listen to the video, your music is playing, the, you're on stage. And they're asking you uh, all these questions and shit, and you're just like, oh my God. I swatched the oh. shit. Nigga. I, wanna, I wanna be watching you. I, why, I don't know why you did that. <laughs> yo. I'm, For one I, moment, you should have been a nigga oh, at that I moment mean, and no. walked the fuck off and came over there. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, because, because yo, they paid, like... I know, yeah, yeah. I know, know. I know. I know you got the bag bag, but they but gave they me, yeah, me my little sure. bag. They're like, yo, hey, come do this. Nigga, I didn't even know. I'm like, oh, shit, it's like... <laughs> yo, you, you don't be thinking about that type of shit with... Pet, what we, what, you're too big at this point. What do you mean? Like, with a festival. Like, like say Rolling Loud, right? Yeah. Like, like not Roots Picnic, Rolling Loud. Yeah. Bro, you're probably like headlining. So? You don't have to care about it. It's not about caring, though. You just make it like fences, right? If I didn't give a fuck, right? I care more than I ever cared in my life. Because, like, I actually, like, I always paid attention. But, I'm like, when you don't pick me back, back then, right? Imagine I'm paying attention, right? I'm paying attention to everybody. And I, like, really don't, like, I don't give a fuck. It's like, when you don't give a fuck, it's something that's really pressing against your heart that make you don't give a fuck, which means you really give a fuck. Like, you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Like, it's really something that's, if you want to take it like... that new Casa, bro. Yeah, I know. It's on the... Oh, Jerome just came here. I'm tweaking. Tell Jerome bring up a Casa. My bad. My bad. It's on the way. My bad. Um, no, that's for you. A I, motherfucker. I drink, I drink, I, a I, motherfucker I mean, that. A mother. Always remember that act. A motherfucker that really don't give a fuck. Really gives a fuck. <laughs> it's something on their heart that's damaging their soul that make them say that they not give a fuck. They're trying to protect the energy. Oh, exactly. It's okay. They try to protect their energy because yeah, exactly. They try to protect the energy and they gave a fuck before and someone hurt them and now they try to they try to hide it. The, the money. So if I was to put out a trash album or a good album, it would make the same amount of money. But it's deeper than the money at this point. I made the money. Nigga, you're him. It's deeper, exactly. It's, it's deeper than the money, bro. Like deeper than the money. Like why? Why? Like how many times you gonna care about the money? Like you can always care about the money, but hey, you when people tell me to talk about you. Mm -hmm. The conversations is not is Uzi whatever whatever. It's 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 a it's a very select conversation. Mm -hmm. Is Uzi still him? What is him? The most influential nigga in the culture. The most talented nigga who's dropping songs that is just fucking. I'm still trying shit. That's why it's not even about the music being all the way 100 percent good. I'm trying. I'm still trying. I'm trying. I, I, I never stop trying. Even when y'all think I'm not doing shit, I'm trying shit behind the scenes. Until it sounds good enough for me to present it to y'all. I'm trying. I've been trying the whole time. I've never not been trying. I tell you, we don't like a, a scientist don't go overnight like high, like on the movies. It took Robert Williams to make Flubber the whole damn movie. It took him the whole movie to make it right. 
you know, a movie two hours, but a movie is really like a, 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 a year and a two in two hours. It took him the whole movie to make Flubber. To be right. Flubber wasn't right. He's putting that shit on motherfuckers' basketball shoes and shit. It was flying in the air. It wasn't right until the end. And it still wasn't right. He had to adapt to it. Hey, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I honestly be thinking that the pressure gets to you at times. Mm -mm. It will always get to you, though. It's no pressure when you experience. It is pressure, though. It's no pressure when... My nigga, they're expecting the greatest shit from you. And that's on them. Because guess what? My nigga, you're a little Uzi Vert, my nigga. They expect you to be... Nigga, it... Juice World's past. It's right. you. That's it. Nigga, it's you. There is no comparison. Cardi got his lane, but it's yeah, just Cardi, you. Cardi do his thing. Yeah. It's Cardi, then it's you. So they all look at well, you and say... Cardi, I think Cardi kind of like... He kind of like... Cardi made that lane like... 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 Cardi made that lane... Yo, Cardi's so good at that shit, nobody else can do it. it. I'm being real, you get what I'm saying? Like, he closed it off, like, 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 that's that road, that's his personal road to his personal mansion. Like, nobody can go down that road, because if they try, it's just like, I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's amazing how he did that. But in reality, here's the thing, though. Say it. Everybody knows it's you and Cardi. That's a fact. <laughs> Nigga, I've talked to your peers. I, w I won't name names. Because no, I fuck okay. with these. Yeah. Your own peers, niggas who is when I mean peers, we're not talking about just niggas in the, like they know Cardi, you. Yeah. It's really y'all. And in the sense of, okay, Cardi do his thing. But we learned so much from each other. And like and this is it's not, not, it's not even putting us at, yeah, against each other. It's like everybody's looking at both of y'all. And, and and it gotta be listen. You they could never put. Look, I'm gonna tell you something too before you finish. Go ahead. No one could never put a person like that's like you putting a person from my block, like a guy from 1600, against me, or like, like, like not even against me. That's like you putting a person like trying trying to compare a person from me and my block. Like we have similarities because we grew up together, but and we we might wear the same clothes. We might talk the same. We might say the same things. We might say the same things in songs. We might use the same ad libs. But we are two different people at the end of the day. And we all, that's why me and him was always like, bro, to this day, like, you gonna understand, like, don't you see, like, when all these guys be like, especially rappers, because being a rapper is a competitive sport. Really? And it's not even a sport. We're not, like, we're the bare minimum of athletic. Every rapper, even if they think they're good, they're still the bare minimum of a man's athleticity. Nah, I, think, I think you're a little athletic. I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, a little you bit, but like I'm not athletic. As nah, much. I know, I know. You know what I mean? Like a little bit. I'm definitely athletic. But let me explain something to you. Like, imagine being around like like just as much as Cardi was around me, I was around him. And what I mean is this shit is a 50-50 thing, which makes 100%. It's a reason why people to this day, right, what? talk about me and my me and my brother. It's the reason why, like, we've been around longer. Like, come on, bro, don't get me wrong. It's other motherfuckers that was out, like, like for instance, right? Like, I don't even talk to the goddamn loyalty every day, but I commend him for everything that he do, like for his artistry, for his his writing and lyrical ability. His beat making ability, his things that he put on a song, like like he he does a lot of stuff behind the scenes. His ability, his ability to still be around and be himself, cause I knew him from the beginning. Like, like we used to we used to hang out all the time. Like my first house in Atlanta, when I first like start like remember I told you I lived with Cannon. Yeah. My first house was so small. My first house was probably like. Eleven hundred a month, but it was so small though. Oh, man, yeah, it was so small though. It wasn't even really? big. It was just a great area to be in. It was like the perfect area. It wasn't even nice. It wasn't even nice. Like eleven hundred a month. It wasn't even nice. It wasn't even that fire. What year is this? Two thousand, almost going into. T 
almost going into 2017. Swear. Okay, okay, okay. Swear. I, before Swear. the before the avalanche happened. Yes. I, I, I'm th yes. I'm always thinking the avalanche. No. Okay, cool. Me and like me and Yad like me and Yadi used to be together all the time. Like. I can remember something that he don't remember. I remember the first time I saw him in person. He was in a mall, in Lenox Mall, and I was in Lenox Mall, and I was going up on the elevator. I'm not the elevator, the escalator. And I already kind of had like a name, and it was by the food court area. And I remember it was a bunch of them. And y'all met in Lenox? We didn't meet, but I, it's so crazy because like I was just playing it cool. Going up, I was with Cannon. And we was going up the, es yeah. the escalator. And I remember he was in the food court with all his friends. And I can remember the first time, like, they was looking at me. They knew it was me and shit. Because, I, like, I was kind of like, like, I was getting there and shit. I remember when Yadi, like, when Yadi used to first pull up on me. So it's just like, Yadi is like, and, like, you got to respect it. Because, like, he, even with the shit he doing now, like, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna be honest with it's you. It's kind of crazy. Like it's kind of it's kind of crazy. You, you mind paying on it? With, 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 listen, you know, you know. Say anything you want to say. No, no. Well, well, well. I'll give you my opinion on say it. it. And, I, and I love Yachty. Say it. Let me tell you this. I've thought this has been a two horse race when it came to quote unquote SoundCloud. Era. No disrespect. Now he the he the he the he the he the sneaky knight in it though. You're right. He's the sneaky I knight. I agree. You know hear I me? Mean? Me and Cardi is like the fucking. The fucking I thought it was just you and Cardi. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I know this though. I study this shit. He's the sneaky knight. He's Be, the one. Me and Cardi. Listen, me and Cardi is doing all this shit. Cardi is being influential, selling all these shows, going across the world, doing the biggest shit in the world. Me, I'm fucking making these big ass hit songs. And there's a nigga like him. That motherfucking is really one of the ones on the low. I'm just being real. Like I'm just being a hundred. You can't even lie about it. Like no, no, he is. Yes. Hold on. I'm gonna be honest. So, and and, and, and me and Yadi like we we've talked about. So Yadi's a great human being. He's cool as shit. I like to say he's a great human being. He cool. see, I'm not though. Mm. That's the thing. What do you mean? I'm an asshole. Everyone knows that too. I think that uh, I'm a real asshole, and he knows that. And he's like, he's, Yadi's a nice guy. He's nice as shit. Like I ain't gonna lie. Anytime I be an asshole, he, he's he's smart as shit. And he like he definitely didn't get with you because he's definitely like. A it used troll. to be just both y'all though. Like he's, like he's definitely a troll. Like he's definitely not. He's definitely on point. Like he's definitely a troll. He knows everything that's going on. But I'm an asshole. So like why? Actually, I'm not an asshole. I know you're not an asshole. I used to be. So people still judge me off of like you Why'd know. You say you used to be. I was. Why would you be an asshole though? I, don't know, I was high. I'm gonna be. Yeah, so, this is what I said. I said anytime. So I still jump back. Like, I'll, I'll I'll talk to like I'm not saying like d like Yadi, but I'll talk to someone and be like, Hey, what's up? How's your day? And they'll yeah. be like, Nigga, you being smart. And I'm like, Nigga, I really ask you how's your day. But like, it's definitely like like you gonna understand. How long have he been? How long have he have he been around? Who? Yadi. Yadi. Yeah, he's been around a long time. That's what I'm trying to tell you, and he still ain't even go nowhere. He's definitely a nigga that beat the, the like, the wash allegations. Oh no no he he beat the shit out of it. Yo on his on, own way. Yo this is hold on this is why. By the way, everybody believes I still want to get you. I just want to get you on my podcast. He to beat ask it. These questions. I got you because I actually think, and I love Yachty. Like let me tell you this. There's been moments, and I learned this as a blogger. If I report right now, yo, Lil Uzi got arrested, he did this, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. It might be the weakest or the lowest moment for you, but everybody's coming to my blog. For sure. What I learned is that when you have a name, include me, it's the same thing that happens to you. Mm -hmm. So I've had low moments too. We all have. And when I have those low moments when everybody's kicking like, fuck, act, whatever, whatever, it's a few niggas who ever... One is 21 Savage. Mm -hmm. Yachty always called me like, yo, listen, I know they all getting at you. And I ain't gonna lie, you be on some fuck shit. He don't, he don't be on some shit like, I know what like, you, mean. you be on some fuck shit, but I'm just trying to make sure you're good. Yeah. And I always took that as something. So I thought... Because I, you gotta understand that you like, as much as, as much as many people, me too, like as much as many people hate you, it could be a bunch of nobodies that hate you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not calling 
nobody's nobodies because nobodies be the ones with the biggest opinions. <laughs> but it'd be a bunch of nobodies that hate you, and it'd be the people that matter that really love you. And you always got to take that in consideration because the people that matter is the reason that they matter. And it's a reason why they love you because they know that you matter. It was a learning experience for me because <laughs> when you're a blogger, I'm like, yo, all right, cool. Oh, we got this story about Uzi. I'll just set his entire world ablaze. Mm -hmm. Let him deal with it. Mm -hmm. It was when people realized and say, hey, listen, look, you need to feel how people feel when everybody's coming at you. You know what I realized something else, too? Like, remember when I explained to you, like, it's our job? Mm -hmm. Like, you know how we bring up the shit when people say, like, I'm a, like, devil worshiper or anything? But how's the music? Because <laughs> it'll be a motherfucker that'll be like, Uzi, get with God. And then I'll drop a song and like, damn. And it's just like, yeah. like, like, why are y'all even bringing up religion? Religion is just like, why are you bringing, like, we don't, like, what they say, don't bring up religion, a woman's age or politics. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, no, why are you it. even bringing, like, like, I don't like, like, it's, like, that's what I'm saying, it's your job. So if you was to put out a fucking report of me getting in trouble with the cops or me doing something or me getting sued I or felt something. the times you've hated me and I'm like yo no. damn I love him but like shit I gotta do this but he probably be like yo damn this fuck nigga but I do know there's times we communicate I and hate, like, like, I, like, I, like we don't be on synergy well, I, went, like, I, I hated good. you but I hated you because like I you gotta start off with yourself like anybody that I ever like had a problem with or anything I cause you can't have a problem with a person for no reason it's always a cause and an effect, right? So anything that I did, it had to be a cause. So it's like, okay, so if I did something and you covered the story, I shouldn't have fucking did it. Because for real, for real, you would cover a fucking story of me getting in trouble. And then three days later, Uzi just dropped the song. It's the biggest song. So it's just like, yeah, it's not man. personal. Yeah, it's Nothing's part. personal. Nothing's personal. If you take shit personal. There's some shit that's personal in this world because it's deeper than like rap. But with me, the rap game is my safe haven. So anything that I have, yes, the rap game is my safe haven. I'm from Philadelphia. I know you're from Philly. But it's the reason I talk how I talk. It's the reason I act how I act. It's the reason I look how I look. Because I'm really from like, don't get me wrong, people from everywhere. Like, but I'm from Philadelphia. And it's crazy out there. And everyone knows it's crazy out there. It's crazy other places too. We're not the only place in, in America. Hey, but it's crazy out there. Let's be and clear. Philly right now is the it's the highest. Yes. It's a it's the craziest murder rate in the United so, States. So you think I wanna go there? You wanna say this for you? No, no. I really wanna have a full conversation with you, man. We can. You wanna Yo, hear some music? No, no, that's what I'm trying to say, because I'm here to hear the music. I know. Because honestly, even hearing everything you have going on. Mm -hmm. Man, I got so much opinions about it. Mm -hmm. Just like, like, bro. E even when you say say what you just said, I'm mm -hmm. like, dog. I was supposed to go to that, uh, uh, which I I didn't. I didn't get to go to the funeral, but I know you were there. Mm -hmm. When it came to the X. Yeah, I went. I Juice took my, died. I took, I took my homies there. Juice died, bro. Do, do you realize that when it comes to, like, people who love music and shit like that, like, mm -hmm. my nigga, like, what you represent and you being here, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's more than just music. It's surreal. Yeah. I mean, that's what life is, Zach. Eh? It's just life. No, I, I, I get it, but, 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 but it's like. You know what I always tell everybody? Some real quick shit. There's some real quick shit. Every. Story that you didn't cover. Every fucking accomplishment you did in your life. You're probably like the most successful person for your family. Me too. A hundred percent. Me too. I'm telling you, me too. It used to be my cousin. My cousin got like these crazy doctor's degrees and shit. And like, that's still important though because that takes a lot. But, and my little sister. My little sister is very important in my family too. My real little sister. Like my blood little sister. Like she's like important. Like she's like in like a... What's that shit called? Like a fucking like I don't know what she is. She like one of them, them Kappa motherfuckers and shit. She do all that shit. Like and I ain't downplaying it. It's like some shit I never could do in my life. Like she's like 
studying in school. She graduated. Mm -hmm. She's going back to get like her. Like my sister is like the smart one of the family. But like, it's life, bro. Like we, I make all these songs. You do all these covers. Just imagine if the world blew up tomorrow. Nothing is on record because we're the only people that's like, it's not like, like, okay, we, we believe in what we believe in, but it's like, technically, like, bro, is it, like, I'm not saying it's not that now. I'm not saying it's not like that now, because come on, bro, like, like, I know it's like some other shit, but, bro, if the world blew up today, we're, we not, not on the world, this should be over with. Like, it's like, it's, it's nothing record. Everything that we record, she's recording right now. Everything that's recorded is disintegrated, gone. And then shit would start over. Like, that's why I always tell people, I'll be like, we know about all this music, right? From, like, YouTube and all these records and shit. But what about all the great artists that we never found out about that got lost? Mm. I always say that. Like, it's probably like, bro, you know what I mean? Songs, that's like the greatest songs in history that probably already was made and that shit got lost. Like the greatest songs ever. Like, come on, bro. You're right. You're right. Like, ain't, there, ain't that many drugs in the world that make these motherfuckers make these great ass songs that have been out in our history. Like, come on, bro. It's so much shit that's like not recorded. It's so many great people that's like not set in stone or on wax that like just disintegrated in time and was the greatest motherfuckers in the world. Like, that shit could happen. It's like no one knows nothing. Like, we just here at the end of the day. That's why I think people cherish you. Because We're just here. Let me tell you this. You know, man, I can't even mention, I mean, like, X was a nigga who I used to talk to every day. Can I say something about him? Real quick, something yeah. like? Oh, of course. I ain't gonna lie. You know, him and Kodak is kind of the same. You know why? Tell me. Because I really pay attention to all this shit. Kind of the same. They like, they like, they like make different music and they cut from different cloths. But they the type nigga, right? That don't even need a mic. They can record a song on their phone, and it's so raw and so natural. They don't need all the shit that we need. They so raw and so natural that they just good. Like that's why that's why X was so good. Like he was so good. It's so many songs that niggas don't know that he didn't even record in a studio on a mic. Yeah. He like just record on his phone. Yeah. And it's like, he was, they good. That's how Kodak is. They good. Like, they just like, they're raw talent. Something about Florida has that. It's something about like Florida. That's like, true. it's something about that that they just so raw. Like, they can just do anything. Like, and not anything in the sense of like, it don't make sense. But they can like, work with what they got. And they just so good. That's how it is though. I don't know why. I, I, Yo, I study everybody. They so good. There's a moment that I used to think about you. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, man, we lost X. We lost... Jews. Mm -hmm. You thought I was gonna die? I didn't think you were gonna die, but like. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the one. You want me to be honest? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Like, I, I was looking at shit and I'm like, bro, if, 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 if we lose Uzi, I'm a, like, like I, I think people like me who, who genuinely love you, your mm. fans, bro, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't have a I don't have an answer for that. Me neither. Me neither. Because anything can happen, but the reason I don't have an answer for that because I don't know what it feel like to like die. Like I don't know. Like anything can happen, bro. Like God forbid, like I always say that too, motherfuckers I always say so much shit, but I always say God forbid every day. I could be walking down the street and anything can happen. A motherfucker throw a penny off the highest building in the world and motherfucking it go through my head. Like anything can happen. Like nobody don't know nothing. Anything can happen. Like, this is whatever. Like, as long as I did what I did so far. I did more than what I ever thought I'd do. So, they, then them guys, they did more than everything, anything they ever thought they'd do. So, like, I understand. They journey probably was already, like, like, that's why I look at it. Like, their journey was probably already, like, fulfilled. And in order for their journey to be, like, as great as it was, maybe it was their time. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. But maybe it was their time. Because maybe they would have kept making music and it would have tarnished their creativity. Yeah. You never know because we just judge them off of what's here. You know what I'm saying? You're right. Wow. No, you're right.
What track? Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, that's seven. All right, nigga. I'm going to keep going. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Spin again. <laughs> <laughs>